Hey there, Bobcat Nation. Have you ever wondered what life would be like living as a philosophy and political science double major at Quinnipiac University? Well, I'll show you in this Quinnipiac, Dan the Life. Hello everyone, my name is Haktan Ceylon. I'm a double major in philosophy and political science from Danbury, Connecticut. I came into Quinnipiac as a political science major, but um, I had taken a intro to philosophy course and I felt like philosophy courses at that time and even now um, were very uh, good safe spaces to have intriguing discussions and just being able to challenge our common held um, you know, beliefs and, and, and um, you know, connotations with certain things about life and certain fabrics and such. Um, so I decided to pursue my education into um, to converting my philosophy experience into a minor at first, which you know you would only have to take about 16 to 18 credits. And then after completing those credits, I felt like my journey wasn't necessarily fulfilled yet with philosophy, so I decided to convert it into a major. And so here we are now. So to start the day, I'm gonna grab something at Starbucks. I thought that I would just talk really quickly about how Quinnipiac is helping me with my future ambitions and goals in terms of a career. I have ambitions of potentially going to law school after uh, college is over, and I believe that the classes that I've taken is really helping me with things like, for example, logical reasoning, which shows up on the LSAT and different topics, which I'll have to tackle in my um, philosophical and both political career. So we're gonna join my Zoom class right now. And today we're having a group assignment, so just really looking forward to getting into the discussion. We learned a little bit about Aristotle and we worked with our groups because we're going to have some group presentations coming up over Zoom, which I'm super excited about. I got a really dope group. I'm back in my dorm right now just getting some work done uh, before lunch and just looking over the schedule for tonight's event, Selkuth, which I'm running through the International Student Association as their vice president. Um, this is the first time I've ever actually created my own arts competition, let alone a event that I'm hosting based on the arts. Um, so I'm super, super excited, especially given the fact that I myself am a spoken word poet. Um, I've been writing for about the past three to four years and it's a very big passion of mine. Um, it's something that I find very therapeutic and it helps me um, a lot throughout my academic adventures and you know uh, different parts of my life a lot of the the poetry that I'm doing and a lot of the arts based work that I'm doing has translated into my time in Quinnipiac through the fact that now I've been able to release merch through a um, through in collaboration with a different organization on campus by the name of Qthon which aids children of the Connecticut Children's Hospital and they have a big event called Qthon every year where essentially people come and do this big dance marathon it's a whole lot of fun and so this year I decided to make the very merch that I'm wearing right now under my poetry name not Kaneliak, um, to benefit Qthon and at the same time ISA's Qthon page. I would say that Quinnipiac has also fostered a good community for me to be expressive with my art and not only myself but many of my friends who also attend the university and through that they have many clubs that are very arts orientated, very a lot of programs and um, you know there's always something to scratch that itch that you may be looking for artistically right whether it's an open mic, whether it's a publication journal, whether it's a dancing club, whatever right that you may See, there's something for you. I just made it to my reserve study room um, to meet with Nate to go over our class for philosophical perspective poetry. He is right here. We took a philosophy class about a year ago called Philosophy of Humor. And uh, I just remember really um, catching on to your opinions and uh, thoughts and conversations that we had throughout the dialogue of the course. I feel like, you know, throughout all of these courses that Nate and I have been through, you know, our friendship also developed as much as our academic collaborations. And so after all was done and all was said as us being classmates and just remaining as friends, um, we decided to pursue both of these realms of both like the arts and the philosophy into this one project. And Nate by trade is a, is a singer songwriter and I'm a spoken word poet and so we decided to fuse both worlds into you know establishing this project and so now we're very excited to get working. I'm about to attend Modern Philosophy with Dr. Rebecca Bamford who easily is my favorite philosophy teacher in the entire department so uh, let's zoom into that. In an inductive argument um, we're not talking about the same kind of reasoning as we're talking about when we're talking about a deductive argument. So class has ended for Modern Philosophy with Dr. Bamford, so now I'm going to be on my way to my on-campus work study at Residential Life. Um, basically, working at Res Life, all I do is take some phone calls, help students uh, who come in with uh, various amounts of inquiries, perform lockout, and it also goes in line with my RA work. So last year, before I was an RA, I actually applied to work here at the Residential Life office just to learn a little bit more of the ins and outs of how Residential Life works. And I think it's a really good way to also get involved with campus and to learn a little bit more also about how the residential system uh, works through and throughout. Alright, so the shift just ended at Res Life. We're going to head over to Selkut, which is our event tonight. 
I am currently in the student org suite, um, just gathering all of the prize that we will be handing out tonight to both the judges and the participants who were uh, awarded for our contest uh, at Selkuth. And as I mentioned uh, a little bit earlier, um, you know, Selkuth to me is very important because I feel like there is a very predominant art scene coming up and rising in uh, in the Quinnipiac community. And to be able to uh, commemorate and award such talented individuals coming from various majors, backgrounds, disciplines, um, is an utmost honor. Here I'm actually joined with the ISA president, Issa, uh, who is actually just gathering the awards. So we're super excited and um, we will see you in CCE 101 at 930. And make it so relatable, so adaptable, so thought provoking. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm proud to announce that Selkuth is now finally over. To say that the event was a success uh, would be an understatement. Um, I was very pleased and happy to see everybody out there and doing their thing. It was just an amazing feeling being able to see everybody perform their pieces live. Um, I think that they have done such a great job in articulating themselves artistically and creatively and I was humbled um, to just be in their presence of their great art. I just want to give one piece of final advice to say that no matter who you are or what grade level you are or even if you're about to enter college, um, to live unforgivingly and to experience everything that you can in these pivotal few years. Be sure to check out the other Quinnipiac Day in the Life videos on our channel, all for yourself. And as always, go Bobcats!